I'm Evan Whitney. I work with a colorful group who are the most politically incorrect people you will ever meet. And that's why I created Colored People Incorporated. You didn't create colored people. We created colored people. Whatever, Jada. We can bring creative diversity solutions to your business or organization that's turned up when it comes to bigotry. Just stop. We are colored people. We don't have to talk about this name. Your new corporate policy has very strict uh, rules about behavior within the workplace. Uh, so, any questions on that? Ooh. Um, I just want to be clear. So, um, getting brain in the break room from an intern is bad. Okay, got that. But getting brain from a groupie on a tour bus is okay? The tour bus is still part of the workplace. So, no. <clears throat> And groupies aren't employees. Shit. They still trying to get paid. Probably get better benefits. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. Uh, when we come back, we will discuss proper workplace attire. <sighs> you going over your notes? Angry birds. These dampings are really testing me. Very professional. They have a stripper pole in the corner. Hell yeah, she can get it. She can get it. Ladies, you are doing a great job. I really appreciate this. Ever since MCA absorbed us, they've been laying this corporate crap on me. So glad to help. And that, that you are smoking today. <laughs> One, you clearly haven't been paying attention to my presentation. And uh, two, you saw me yesterday when you picked up Mario. Just never seen you in your working girl outfits. Mm. Can you believe him? Still a slime bag. You're the one who slept with him multiple times, had kids with him multiple times. Shit, you're probably still sleeping with him. Die, pig, die. Do you think he's sleeping with yep. her? You don't even know who I'm talking about. Yep. What do you care? You know what? I'm, I'm gonna take the second half of the presentation for you. Good. Because I've been on this level for two days. You know, fuck this. I'm, I'm gonna Google this shit. I don't see anything wrong with this outfit. Uh, you don't bring the twins to work. Well, no one over here is complaining. The, the point is you want to avoid provocative clothing in the workplace. Uh, this isn't a club. Shit, sometimes it is. But you ain't never heard of Chocolate Thunder Thursdays? Pay your fare, $20 a head, you in there. Even so, uh, the new corporate policy forbids inter-office relationships. Uh, now I have a few questions for you guys. Has anyone ever had an inter-office relationship? Man, I don't even know what that is. Wanda, how about you? Nothing serious. Has anyone in the office ever made an inappropriate comment pertaining to your physical appearance or body in a way that might have made you feel uncomfortable? Hell yeah, all the time. Craig was just in my face during the break. True. You know you like it, girl. Uh, or do you like tall Hispanic men? That's a weird question to ask. Or ha have you ever dated anybody who lives at um, Society Hill, apartment 2210, Lee Beamer parked in the driveway? Have you been stalking me? Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to end there today. <laughs> I'm not done with my yeah, questions. Yes, yes you listen, are. if you want to know whether or not I'm sleeping with Miguel, you could just ask, honey. It's not a secret. Nope. I seen them in an office in the studio last week, which I just learned is inappropriate behavior in the workplace. Bastardo! You were with me last week! I knew she was still sleeping with him. You look like you play Angry Birds. Girl, I make Angry Birds happy. through this shirt if one more gale 
gets married before I do, I'm gonna have to get rid of Westboro Baptist Church on y'all. Uh, hi, Joe! So, do you work out? Yes, ma'am. I teach Zumba. Hi. Do you see my nipples in this shirt? <laughs> All right, that's the way I like it.